It's nursery rhyme time. Ooh, I'm never so excited. This nursery rhyme is about a little boy named Georgie. Well, you may know him as Georgie Porgy. Georgie lived with his mum and dad on top of their very own bakery. Mum, by the way, is British for mum. So if you're feeling kind of British, just call your mum, mum. So Georgie's mum would get up early every morning to wake Georgie. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Oh, it's that time already. <laughs> And she would go to the kitchen and start baking yummy cakes, puddings and pies. Every day, Georgie's mum would pack a slice of apple pie into Georgie's lunchbox. Georgie definitely had what you would call a sweet life. Thanks, mum. You're the best. But one day, Georgie's mum accidentally filled Georgie's pie with the fish she had made for his dad's lunch. Uh-oh! During lunch, Georgie was so hungry, he didn't think anything of the fish pie. In fact, he thought it tasted quite good. He was really hungry. Ooh, this is quite tasty. Nice to have something savory for a change. He thought to himself. But the smell of Georgie's fish breath was not a very pleasant one. In fact, it was extra double stinky. So stinky that when it was time to play in the schoolyard, all the other kids ran away from him. Then one little girl was standing by herself looking lonely. So Georgie decided to give her a kiss. That didn't go over too well. Ew, you smell like a can of cat food. Poor Georgie was so embarrassed. He was just trying to be nice. When the other boys joined in to play, Georgie ran all the way home so he could brush his teeth. So, boys and girls, the moral of the story is don't kiss anyone after you've had a plate of fish. The end. And now for the nursery rhyme part. Georgie Porgie, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgie ran away.